I just don't know how people, how people do it. How they do it? How they think of all these interesting things to say. I mean, they just talk, just like that. It's amazing, so... Yes, but... So, yeah, I just sit there and hope to God nobody notices me. Right, but... Because I ain't got anything worth saying. <laughs> yes, so you keep saying. But, but what I've been suggesting is that everyone has interesting thoughts. No. <laughs> the only difference between you and all these other people you keep talking about is that they voice those thoughts and then someone responds and that's, that's a conversation. <sighs> I don't know, I... OK, what are you thinking right now? Well, uh... No, go on. Well, well, I was actually just wondering why do men and women wear different kinds of shoes? <laughs> OK, what are you thinking now? Because in Roman times, they just wore sandals. Yes. Which was obviously a lot simpler. But then, of course, they all wore dresses then, so... Yes, marvellous. <laughs> You're right. This is interesting. Yes, isn't it? Well, goodbye. Yeah, OK. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Oh. See, so, yeah, I, I just said that. Oh, my goodness. How are we going to shut you up? <laughs> Hi, Peter. Hi. Oh, just you again. Great, so, yeah. Oh, that's OK. Go and make yourself comfortable. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, do I need to see that? Uh, no, I just put an ad in the exchange and Mark, they've faxed it through for me to check it. What are you selling? It's just my car. You're selling your car? Yeah, I can't really afford to run a car like that. It's an indulgence. I can't justify it. Oh, what is it then? It's a metro, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Let's have a look. They're very good. They send a bloke around to take a photograph of the car. Oh, yeah. It's the trouble with faxes. Photos always come out like that, don't they? No, that is what it looks like. <laughs> Because I've been thinking about getting a car. Have you? Well, this probably wouldn't be what you're looking for. I just want something to get me from A to B. Yeah, this probably wouldn't be what you're looking for. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at it the other night when she was asleep, and I, and I was asking myself, do I really love this person? And I thought, I suppose I do. OK, so where's the problem? Well, every morning she wakes up. <laughs> right, I'll see. Sorry, that was, that was a terrible thing to say. Not if it's what you feel. Yeah, but you're not hearing Leslie's side of the story at all. Not this week, no. Um, um, she's definitely not coming to any more sessions. Right. She can't understand why on earth people would pay good money for something that's fraudulent and completely useless. Yeah, I know, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but um, I'd quite like to keep coming on my own, if that's all right. Of course but, it is. Uh, I'm under a lot of pressure at the moment. Yeah. And at work as well, you know, it's all come at the wrong time. Right. Yeah, I know it's just a book launch, you know, it's what I do and everything. It's just, um, well, OK, uh, we're publishing John Cleese's autobiography. And, uh, John Cleese? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Are oh, you a fan? Yeah, yeah. I know all the Monty Python stuff off by heart. Right, right. well, I'm in charge of the whole project. You know, it's the biggest thing I've ever done. And uh, basically, uh, I just can't stop thinking what would happen. I wish to register a complaint. <laughs> What? Dead parrot sketch. Oh, right, right. Um, no, I can't stop thinking what would happen if... if it know, is not resting, I... it is dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so uh, what would happen, you know, if, if this I... This is an ex-parrot. <laughs> um, you're done? Yes, I'm sorry, carry on. Uh, no, basically, I, I can't stop thinking what would happen, you know, if I made a mistake and, and something went wrong. Yeah. Peter, what you have to understand is... So I've seen lots of different people in here, and, and, and what you have to realise is that celebrities, no matter how famous they get, they have exactly the same insecurities as you do. Uh, I don't think so. OK, right. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but Al Pacino, when he... Well, the Al Pacino. Yeah, yeah. Right. Al Pacino can't do a wee if there's someone else in the room. <laughs> You've had Al Pacino in here? Oh, no, a woman at the dentist told me. <laughs> I, I see. What, well, just because it's two words over. So if we could lose two words, it would be ten quid cheaper. All right, well, um, let's lose a very, then. Uh, and good, too. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, just just condition. That's about right. Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Thank you, bye-bye. 995, oh no. You mean O-N-O. I know what I mean. <laughs> hey, have you got a minute? Yeah? What? What do you think of this? It's a calendar. Yeah? Yeah, it's very nice. What do you think of March? Yeah, a bit windy so far, but all right. No, no, no. <laughs> March, what do you think of March? Oh. Yeah, very nice. Very Baywatch, very... Blimey. <laughs> what do you think? It's you. This bloke who did our swimming club photo, he asked me if I wanted to be in a calendar. It, it, it's you. What do you think? It's fantastic. You don't think it's a bit... Well, it's a bit. Um, it's sort of... It's quite... Because um... Matthew's gone all boyfriendy about it. Has he? Yeah. He doesn't mm. like the idea that other men are going to look at it. Well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got really nothing to do with Matthew, has it? That's what I thought. Yeah, but he doesn't own you. No, that's right. It's my body. It is your body. And there it is. Most of, well, <laughs> nearly all of it, right there. You don't think a man would find it sort of, you know... Oh, no, I don't think... Douglas, do you think a man would... Whoa! <laughs> no. You... I think it's lovely. <laughs> you don't think it's provocative? No, not at all, No. <laughs> You spend a lot of time keeping fit, you're young, you've got a wonderful body, and you feel good about it, don't you? Yes, I do, yes. <laughs> well, I, I do feel good about it, yes. I'm oh, good. Oh, yeah, thanks. It's OK. <laughs> Where do you think it would look best? What? <laughs> yeah, but no, the point is, she can't just put it up right there in the waiting room. She can't. What is the thing about the picture? Well, it's this photo of Mel by a pool, and she's just standing there in this swimsuit. Swimsuit? Yeah. One piece? Well, yeah, it's one piece, but it's sort of... Cut quite low, and, and also quite high up on the... And it's got two little crossed arrows stitched on the... And there's a little um, gold chain belt with a fish, but it's actually a clasp, and... Um... And you can see her nipples. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's it. Well, yeah... It's, it's not really the details, it's more what the whole thing's suggesting. Yeah, that's it, exactly. What is it suggesting, then? Well, swimming. <laughs> you English are so sad. What do you mean? You're so embarrassed about your bodies. No, we're not. Actually, I am. That's got nothing to do with you being English, does <laughs> it? The woman is the most beautiful thing. The man sees the woman and he says, God is good. <laughs> no, actually, Tony, the man, he sees the woman and he says, fancy a curry. <laughs> You joke about this, but the woman, she has the power. The man sees the woman's beauty, and he weep for joy, and fall down at her feet. It's a waiting room, for God's sake. It's interesting, actually, because she's not exactly smiling, but her lips are slightly parted. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, right, that's it. The calendar's not going up. So then I went downstairs and borrowed a hanger off Craig and put it up there. Yes, good idea. What do you think? Yes, very good. It probably is the only place where you can see it from every single part of the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. Hi, have you hey, Kate. Hi. Have you finished with my hammer? Oh, sorry, Craig, I forgot. Well, it's just when I went to get it for you this morning, I realised my tools were in a hell of a mess, you know, thanks. So, what I thought I'd do was uh, put a couple of nails in the wall, and then I can put the hammer on it, and I'll always know where it is. Yeah. Yeah, what happened was I needed a hammer, but uh, I didn't have one. No. No, so I used a small frying pan to bash the nail in, you know, but... <laughs> I think I've bent the nail now, so I need a hammer to... To straighten the nail. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about using any sort of frying pan is, unless the nail's, like, dead straight, you just... You... Here we go. It's me. It's... Yes, that's right, it is. What do you think of it? Yes, Craig, what do you think of it? W what do I think of it? Yeah. Well... What? Well, it's a bit awkward for me, you know. Why? Well, the thing is, it. Well, I'm actually very interested in photography. Oh, great. Yeah, and without boring you, the, the key thing in portrait photography is depth of field, see? And it, in this example, the depth of field's all over the place. What are you on about? Well, if you use the right sort of lens, you can soften the background and the foreground so that the subject, that's the bit you're actually interested in, really does come out at you. I see, and this isn't coming out at you? Not really, no. Yeah. Can I stand here for a moment? Anything now? No. It's a bit disappointing. Disappointing? Yeah. It's, well, don't take it personally. I'm looking at it from a, from a technical point of view. Yes, how do you do that, actually? Well, when you know about photography, it just... Woo. What? Oh, bloody hell. Oh. No, it's deja vu. Ooh, I knew I was going to say that. And that. 
Yeah, all right. What am I going to say next? No, you just said it. That is amazing. <laughs> Mel, any um, calls yet about the... Oh, dear. Uh, any calls yet about the... Uh... Oh. What? That's right. <laughs> What's right? What do you mean? Yes. I'm saying yes because I say yes. There I, there I go. <laughs> yeah. Um, it did have... No, oh, I've forgotten what I was going to say next. That's all right. Ask Craig. <laughs> OK. It's amazing. What? More people commit suicide in Sweden than anywhere else. Do they? Yeah. It's a hell of a long way to go. <laughs> Thanks. So, bad day. Well, firstly, the calendar's up. It's up. Mm -hmm. And secondly, you know what you were saying about men weeping with joy and falling down at women's feet? Yeah. Mm, not once, all day. Oh, I would have, but, but you know my niece. Yes. Yeah, right. You're welcome. It's my job, you know, to bring a little happiness into yeah, the life. Yeah, thanks. OK. <laughs> Peter? Oh, hi. That is you. Uh, it is me, yes. Is it you? Yes. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? Well, for one thing, it's just round the corner. All oh, right, of course, yeah. And the other thing is, well, no, there is no other thing. That's it. <laughs> no, I just wanted to check if it was you. What are you doing? A census or something? No, no, no. I don't want to disturb you. What this? God, no. I'd rather talk to anyone than read this. Ooh. Sorry, that came out wrong. So, what are you doing here? Uh, I've got a meeting tonight. I've got a bit of time to kill, so could have gone home, I suppose. But at the moment, mm. all right. Yeah. So, do you want another drink? Um. Ooh, what happened to that? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a long day? Well, no, not really. It's just, you know, people. Mm. Thought about therapy. I understand it can be very helpful. <laughs> therapy, no, too expensive. And the handy thing about this is it's got this uh, time shutter release, which means you can set it to go off with a delay, you know? So you can compose the shot and you've still got time to... T oh, ow! It's hardly Mel's fault, but no. you know when you stand in front of some paintings and the eyes follow you around the room? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. Oh, God, you see what you mean, blimey. Mm. <laughs> so now the problem is how to get her to take it down. Without hurting her feelings? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that is a tricky one. Yeah. Very delicate situation in human terms. Mm. Any chance of a quick look at it? <laughs> it's not easy being a man, you know. One minute you're perfectly rational. Oh, yeah? You, you know, you, you try and be nice and sensitive and, and then suddenly you get a hard on and it all goes out the window. Really? That is impressive. Yeah, so what this lens allows you to do is make you look like you're really, really close, whereas in fact, you're a long way away. Yeah. Yeah, so you can achieve the effect of... Oh, no, you're still a bit close, I can't get you in. You have to go back a bit further. Further. Yeah. OK. Yeah, that's... No, a bit further. Okay. Yeah. What would happen if you went a bit further still? There, <laughs> no, you see, that's much, that's a lot. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'll just knock this back quickly and get on the road. Uh, mustn't be late. But I've got a meeting with David Wilkinson tonight. Who's David Wilkinson? Oh, of course, yes, sorry. Um, John Cleese's agent. Oh, right. You, Manuel, me, Basil, this slap on head. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. You, you really do like him, don't you? How can you tell? Yeah. He's flying in from the States tomorrow morning. God, I'll be glad when tomorrow's over. I mean, he's going to be in the air now. How's it all going? Uh, yesterday I was in a team meeting. Um, I had a panic attack. I had to sit down for five minutes. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Do you remember what I was saying about Al Pacino? These people are just human beings. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I can see it when you're saying it. It's just, you know, as soon as I'm out of the room, it's gone. Yeah, if I could have you with me everywhere, then, then I'd be fine. It might not be the best thing for your marriage, considering. Actually, are you doing anything tomorrow? Tomorrow? Why? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd just, you know, if, if you wanted to... What? Well, I mean, you know, it'd be great for me if, if you could... Well, you mean meet, meet John Cleese? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I realise it's an unusual thing. You're right. <laughs> picture really lovely as I was saying yesterday but I've been doing a bit of thinking and the point is what are you I... gonna wear well I haven't really thought about it I'll probably look in my what am I gonna wear <laughs> hello oh you want Douglas I'm afraid oh no hang on a minute he's just come in Douglas mm. it's about car oh god come on be positive remember the first rule of marketing <laughs> you're not selling the sausage you're selling the sizzle what <laughs> 
idea what it means. Right. <laughs> Hello. Yes, that's right. Uh, well, it's d which is um, very good for its age. Um, oh, it's the GL model. Um, that means that the bumper's the same colour as... No, hang on. The bodywork's the same colour. Go, Douglas, go. <laughs> it, yes, it's 995, and I'm afraid I'm not prepared to negotiate on that price because it's a very good price. Right, thank you very much. What do you say? Goodbye. <laughs> Maybe it is the sausage, then. Yes. Hey, listen, you never guess who Kate's meeting tonight. Oh, God, give me a clue. John, please. Uh, oh, OK. Um... <laughs> Mr Bean. Brilliant. Is it? Really? No, it's John Cleese. No, it isn't. It's Rowan Atkinson. Oh, please, no, don't. No, no, no. John, please. No. Sorry, I don't get it. No, this isn't a game. I'm telling you his name. It's John Cleese. Oh, someone called John Cleese. God, imagine that. What, is, what does he do for a living? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Glenn. Sorry I'm a bit late. That's all right. Come on through. Yeah, I had trouble finding somewhere to put... Oh, um... Yeah, that's a good idea, everyone's picture up. Yes, yes, let's get started. At primary school, I sat next to Tina Turner. Bloody hell, what's she like? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. So what are you going to wear? Because it's going to be really posh too, isn't it? Well, yeah. Oh, I know. I've got that black dress. Your black dress? The one I bought for Julia's wedding. You can't go wrong with black. No. What? What's the matter? No, no, nothing. You don't think it's right? Well... What, you think it's a bit, bit sort of... Matronly. What? No, I don't. No. <laughs> Matronly? What was it you were saying about... What am I going to wear? <laughs> it's too much, isn't it? No. <laughs> well, I asked for Jamie Lee Curtis, look. Jamie Lee Curtis doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> she would if she went to this hairdresser's. It's all right, isn't it? Um... Oh, he's not going to notice me anyway. He might. I my lens cap up here last night. Your lens cap? Mm, it's up here last night on my hair. <laughs> Think very carefully before you say the next thing. No, I was up here last night with my camera and now I can't find my Busby. Tonight. All right, I see. John Cleese. Yeah, you know, the actor. Basil Fawlty. Basil Fawlty. No, sorry, what's he been in? Fawlty <laughs> Towers. Fawlty Towers. No, who's in that, then? Who's in it? John Cleese. Ooh. What? Deja Vu. <laughs> Busby. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? What do you mean, Busby? No, hang on. No, now I'm having deja vu about having deja vu. What? Well, said, no, I come in here and I get deja vu, and then in my deja vu... God, that's deja, deja vu. Craig. I mean, I mean, deja vu, deja. I mean, vu, deja vu. Craig, shut up. Hi. Hi, Craig, how's it going? What's going on? Are you all right? Okay, you... Woo. Change this. I suppose that's because in your line of work, the key thing really is being a good listener. Did they? Yes, yeah, good. You're really nervous, aren't you? No, no, not at all. I'm having a bit of trouble getting this. C could you look after that lipstick for me? Okay. See, it won't go. It, 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 won't, it won't fit. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll put it in here. Yeah, um, useless bag. Put one pair of roller skates in it. There's no room for anything else. <laughs> so, did you have any trouble getting here? I'm not really Because when it's raining, it can be a nightmare trying to find a cab. And, of course, it has been raining, which, 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 which is worse. Kate. What? I came with you. We were in the same taxi. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good. Just relax. Yes, no, no, I'm fine. You look fabulous, by the way. Yes. Do I? You really do. Oh, it's just something I happen to be wearing after two hours of getting ready. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. What are these? Volavon, I don't know. John! You know, the people. <laughs> John, hi. Peter, this is very good. Thank you. John, this is Kate Salinger. Hello, Kate. I love the way how your feet do. I'm sorry? I. Love the way how your feet do. Ah, Kate's a great fan of yours. Ah, 
You have cream cheese on your nose. <laughs> Magnus! <laughs> How the hell did you manage that? I don't know. It just fell from the sky. <laughs> no, it could have been worse. Yeah, that's true. No, hang on a minute. How could it possibly have been worse? You mean if I'd farted when he squeezed my hand? That's really imaginary worse. Well, I'll look on the bright side. Go on, then. At least he won't forget your face. Right. And every time he looks at a bagel. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot my golden rule. Golden rule? Never get excited. What? Never look forward to anything. You'll only be disappointed. It's a bit bleak, isn't it? When I was a little girl, I always wanted a pet. Mm. And one day I heard my mother say, we're going to get a toilet duck. <laughs> mm. I built a little cardboard box. Put some bread in it. Did you? Never again. I'm so glad you came tonight. Yes, I don't know how you'd have coped without me. Yeah, I really enjoyed this evening. Oh, please don't. No, but I did. Well, it's very nice of you to say. No, but I really enjoyed this evening. So I'm in a conversation with some people and I'm having an interesting thought. Are you? And then just before it's my turn to speak, I get this fear that my mind's going to go blank. And then my mind goes blank. <laughs> The trick is not to think about what you're going to say next. Just say it. Yeah, but you see what happens is... No, 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 don't. Just be spontaneous. When? <laughs> no, you see, that's thinking about it. Oh, I see. Yeah? Just give it a try. All right. So how did it go? What? Last night. It was all right. All right? Yeah. I mean, come on, what did he actually say to you? Oh, I don't remember now, really. Uh, just, you know, chatting. Chatting? Yeah. What did he say? Oh, I know, um, he talked about food. Wow. <laughs> My God, look at the hooters on that! <laughs> I did it. Yes, well, it's a start. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you next week. <laughs> wow. Well, he has this... Oh, some people. Yeah. Mel... I really need to talk to you about something. So what was he like? Yeah, we'll get on to that, but I really need to say this, otherwise I... Well, otherwise I won't say it. What? The calendar must come down. But why? What do you mean? Well, you saw what happened. Yeah, but he's a... No offence, but he's a sad git. <laughs> no, the thing is, Mel, he's a man. I'm sorry, I... It, it's tough for them, you know? They have to walk around all day on two legs, they have to wear a suit, they have to use a knife and fork. <laughs> it's a strain. <laughs> It just takes a, a little thing like this, and they're swinging on that tyre, playing with themselves again. <laughs> it's just a picture of me. That's not what men see. But what else can they be seeing? There's only me in the picture. Yeah. Right. Is this your only copy of the calendar? No, I've got loads at home. OK. Right. Bear with me. What are you doing? Maybe something different. <laughs> Oh, so you spotted it. Yeah, but wait, what was the point? You see, a man wouldn't have. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yes, it is ridiculous, but sadly true. Now, what we need is a man. And that's astonishing. Here is Douglas with a man. I'll just go and get the keys and then we can take it for a drive. Douglas? What? Do you know something odd about this picture? No. <laughs> Do you? No. <laughs> take a really good look. <laughs> Anything unusual? Anything remarkable? No. No. Cold day. <laughs> no, sorry. Thank you. Right. OK. Eighty-five pounds? That's not very much. And you will tow it away as part of the... Oh, eighty-five pounds to tow it away. Well, that's a... Yeah, all right, then. Thanks. But, I mean... What type of food did he talk about? Mel, it doesn't matter. Dairy products, it's not important. <laughs> Just move on. Hi, Douglas. Hi. Any news on your car? Yeah, it's all sorted out. Oh, well done, you sold it. Uh, yes. Oh, calendar's gone, that's a shame. Yeah. I was just getting used to it. It's a bit distracting it not being there. <laughs> Douglas, there's some bloke towing away your car. Yeah, thanks very much. Shut up. No, he's got on the back of a tow no, truck. No, he's not towing he's it away. He's, um, weighing it. 
Well, as he's weighing it, if yeah. he... Oh. Yes, I know it's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, because the calendar... Ooh. What? Deja vu. <laughs> the calendar, it's, it's like I've said all this before. You have. Yeah, I know. It's spooky, isn't it? No, you really have said all this before. It's not spooky, it's boring. No, so you know what happens is I come in here and you go, and I go, oh, deja vu. Yeah, and Craig, then... Craig, Craig, that's not deja vu. That's called remembering what you did yesterday. <laughs> yeah, but I had deja vu yesterday. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's spooky. No, right, look. There's repetition. My God, there's repetition. And there's deja vu. Ooh. Which is where you think things have happened before they do. So, of course, when they do, you... No, no, ha hang on a minute. No, it's when, just before you remember something, it actually happens. So, of course, when it does happen, you get the feeling... No, no, hang on a minute. No. Deja vu I feel is... like I've heard all this before. <laughs> Ooh, no. No, no, no. Deja vu is when you think you're remembering something, but of Deja course... vu is experiencing something twice. No, that's repetition. <laughs> no, deja vu is when you think you remember something, but it hasn't happened yet. No, that's après vu. <laughs> no, no, right, look. Deja vu is... It's... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's feeling good. <laughs> Well, that's fair enough. I mean, there are times when sitting in a room talking to someone like me is the last thing you want to do. Yes. <laughs> but obviously I feel I can be most useful if both people are here. Yes. Oh, it was Leslie's idea to come. Oh, right, that's great. Well, it's lovely to see you again. He's having an affair. <laughs> well, that's quite a big thing to say. Oh, it's ridiculous. What really gets me is that he makes this big thing about coming here and makes me feel guilty about not coming. No, I don't. You know, this big public display about saving the marriage and all the time he's sleeping with someone else. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, why do you say that? Well, because it's not true, that's why. <laughs> well, Leslie seems quite sure about it. I know he is. Come on, I'm not completely stupid. Oh, okay. Well, perhaps you'd like to tell Peter why it is you think he's having an affair. All right. Is it something about his behaviour? Because I think we should get it all out on the table and... <laughs> you people think you're so clever. You've got completely the wrong idea about this. How do you know? We... we... what? How do you know I've got the wrong idea about it? That's what I mean, you think you know it all. I... I... you... A woman knows when her husband's having an affair. It was Frankfurt, wasn't it? What? What? It's very convenient for them because she books all his flights and hotel rooms. What, Nicola? This is the sort of cheap rubbish she thinks is classy. <laughs> well, it's not that cheap. I think it would be very cheap. <laughs> Nicola? I hope you feel satisfied now. Yes, no. After all the money he's paid you just to sit there and listen to him week after week, whining on on his favourite subject, him, this is what you've achieved. Relationship counsellor. I hope you're really pleased with yourself. Well done. Another wrecked marriage. I think I'd better... Yes, of course. She thanks for that. What? Yeah, for not saying anything. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Nightmare. Yes. Um, you do realise I'm completely in love with you.